Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take a problem from geometry. In this problem, we have two circles and the radius of each circle is 4 units. The distance between the center of these two circles is 6. And since the distance is 6, these two circles are making overlap. We are going to find the area between these two circles. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. See you in 20 seconds. To solve this problem, we are going to add a few lines here. The first thing that we need to notice is these two circles are identical. So let's connect two points that we have here based on the intersection of these two circles. One of them is G and the other one is H. If we connect G to H, we can say that this line divides the area between these two circles into two equal parts. Now let's make a connection between the center of the circle that we have on the left to the points that we have for G and H. If we do this, then we are going to have a triangle here. In this triangle, AG is the radius of the circle. So we know AG is 4. On the other hand, the distance between the center of two circles is 6. And we know that these two circles are identical. And if we connect the center of these two circles together, this line is going to divide GH into two equal parts. Also, GH divides the line between these two centers into two equal parts. If I is the intersection between GH and the line that connect two centers together, we can say that AI is equal to 3. With that, we are going to have a triangle here, AGI, and we are going to talk about this triangle in a bit. But what can we say about this triangle? Specifically, the triangle that we have here, AGI. We are claiming that this triangle is a right triangle. The reason that we can say that is the triangle that we have here for AGH. We have AG and AH equal and AI divides GH into two equal parts. So AA is going to be the height of this triangle. And based on that, we can say that cosine of alpha is going to be 3 over 4, or alpha is going to be roughly 41.41 degrees. Now let's focus on the sector that we have in the left circle here. The sector that we are talking about is the sector colored by orange color. It is A, G, H. This sector is part of the circle that we have here on the left. And the area that we colored by orange is going to be the whole area of the circle, which is pi times the radius of the circle to the power of 2 times 2 times alpha over 360 degrees. So the radius here is 4 and alpha is 41.41. So at the end, the area that we have for the whole sector here is going to be 11.56. 
Now let's talk about the other part of the problem. By now, we know the area of the AGH, the sector that we have here. But we need to find the area that we have for the triangle AGH so we can construct the area that we need to find. To find the area that we have for the triangle AGH, we first use 4 to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 is going to be GI to the power of 2. So GI is going to be a square root of 7. Now, based on that, we can say the area that we have for AGH is going to be 3, which is the height of this triangle, times 2 times a square root of 7, which is the base of this triangle, divided by 2. So at the end, the area is going to be 7.93. Since we have the area of the sector AGH and also the area of the triangle AGH, if we remove the area of the triangle from the area of the sector, we are going to find half of the size of the area that we have here in blue. So if we multiply that by 2, then we can find the area for the shaded region. And that's 7.25. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, problems from geometry, and other problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. See you in the next video.